So, uh, Paul, any words of advice? You've got to get your flavour combinations right and your textures. Yeah, but that every food, that every dish, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. you need to get flavour right and your texture language. right. I wish that we'd had, like, quantities. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Way too much guac, holy f Chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Today, we're going to be reacting to Uncle Roger Hate, Great British Bake Off Mexican Week, featuring Joshua Wiseman. Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to give a shout out to all of my amazing sous chef level patrons. Guys, you along with all the patrons really do make a difference on this channel. And remember, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, but more importantly, patron exclusive content. So be sure to visit the link in the description below and become a patron today. British Bake Off is good show, but every time they move away from making Western cake, they always mess up. Hiya. And today we review Great British Bake Off you Mexican guys have Week. Told me Uncle Roger don't have good a feeling lot about, about this show. <sighs> I don't have a good feeling about this Ooh, either. Is Josh this the Wiseman, first baby. actually the first frame? Yeah. Minute zero. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's pretty rough to start off with right now. Oh my god, the sombreros and the ponchos. <laughs> Ooh. We're in for some shit, aren't we? You guys have mentioned this show numerous times. I have not checked it out until now through this reaction to a reaction. So I'm excited. Um, I also didn't know that Richmond from the IT crowd or IT crowd, one of my favorite shows of all time, super dry humor, Br British humor. I used to put it on in the background all the time. Richmond's in the show. So now I definitely want to check it out more. Take a deep breath, Uncle Joshua. It's all going to be okay. Hello, viewer. Hello, Noel. Are you excited for Mexican week? I'm really excited. Although I don't feel like we should make Mexican jokes because people will get upset. Yeah, too oh, late. No Mexican <laughs> jokes at all? I don't think so. What, not even Juan? Oh, not even Juan. <laughs> oh. God! There's oh, no shit. way. How, you, know how, you know how many people this has to pass through <laughs> to be approved to go on television? Television is a lot of work. You've got to go through barriers. This is British comedy. They love the pun. The pun so funny, so humorous. I dying laughing. I dead now. You know, I like, <laughs> I like dry humor. This humor is, is, is just... Try it than my ex-wife. <laughs> I got to admit, uh, if, if anyone's going to pull it off, they just did. I mean, holy shit. I don't know. Any Mexicans out there watching this right now, what did you think of that? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you guys found it just as hilarious too. Who knows? Or maybe y'all are ready to kill someone. In today's Mexican technical. Bakers, it's time for your technical challenge. So, uh, Paul, any words of advice? You've got to get your flavor combinations right and your textures. Yeah, but that every food, that every dish, yeah. Yeah, Seriously. you need to get flavor Super right and your texture language. right. That's like when you get in the car, you have to start it before you go. Yeah. <laughs> when you take a shit, you have to wipe yourself and then wash your hand. Useless information. For some people, that's optional. Mm. <laughs> okay. Depending on where you, where you are. Remind me not to shake Uncle Joshua's hand. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't, I mean... <laughs> For your technical challenge, Paul would like you to make eight... Is, is Professor X over here, is, is the OG Professor X British? I don't think so, right? Uh, I, I mean, I know James McAvoy plays him with a British accent, but I don't think he's British himself. We got prof pro Great British Bake Off Professor X <laughs> over here. Mexican tacos. Your tacos Mexican ta should be made from... Get, uh, first off, that, that's redundant. Mexican tacos. What, why would you... Italian spaghetti. <laughs> yes, it's also so not true. baked. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. Tacos, new one on me. This is my first time doing tacos. I bet it's the same like you make tortillas. And if... Tortillas. Yeah, that not tortillas. But it's so okay. Mexican. She's just contestant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... She looks really scared though. You see her like? Did you see her face? She does. She is fucking distressed. British people making Mexican food, I would be scared also. Yeah. Four oh, tacos for a technical. It's Mexican week, bro. It has okay. to be tacos. Tell me about the fillings mm. then. You've got a pico mm. de gallo, which is basically... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my God, pico de gallo? Pico de gallo. Listen, if you work at any restaurant in the States, you are gonna be working with some Mexicans. I mean, the Mexicans are the foundation of, <laughs> of the construction and restaurant labor force here in the States. And in my nearly two decades of cooking food professionally, man, have I had some 
awesome Mexican food. I mean, the stuff that they whip up together right before right before service starts, or even when we have a little break, they'll whip up something. Oh man, for me, my all time favorite foods are Mexican, Chinese, and then I'm sorry, I said Mexican first. You see, Korean. Chinese and then Mexican. It's like in my top three. I love Mexican food. You got Pico de Gallo. Contestant pronouncing wrong, it okay, but he the judge? Yes, yeah, Nobody telling him the research? Right. Choose your okay. taco. Okay. The most awkward eating. That <laughs> tortilla <laughs> looks very stiff. It like she never eat taco before. It's a corn before. tortilla. It looks very stiff from the way. The instructions uh, aren't really when that they're detailed. Into it, For each the of the elements, movement. it just says make the pico de gallo, make the refried beans. The instruction really quite useless. <laughs> to say make the pico <laughs> yes, de gallo, sir. make the refried bean, make the guacamole. It's because they don't know the actual directions on how to do it. They're just like, we'll just figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. It's like buying a book called Running for Dummy and the instruction, go fast. <laughs> So the first bit is for the tortillas, blend the drained corn until you have a smooth thick paste. Oh, are they making tortillas from scratch? Like, are they making their own masa flour? Corn tortillas are made with masa flour. It's a really fun process to make corn tortillas, but it is tedious and time consuming. And also you can find great pre-made corn tortillas very easily, at least stateside. So I'm very impressive if they're gonna be making corn tortillas from scratch and may explain why I said the corn tortillas looked a little funny earlier when the judges were eating it. No way. Corn out onto a work surface and add masa harina, then mix to oh. form a dough. Masa okay. harina. I think it's like corn flour. Yeah, it is corn oh, flour. They, nobody mix no, it. No, no, or hominy? Shit. I could be remembering wrong. <laughs> Just make the tortilla with so, masa harina. So yeah, based seriously. off what it looked like, they basically made masa, if it's the right corn, and then added more masa that's dehydrated to it for no fucking reason. Yeah. Like getting store-bought pasta, and then they add flour to it. Yeah, 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 very accurate. You know, in my entire career, I've never seen anyone make corn tortillas from scratch where they're literally grinding the flour. I don't think any Italians out there are taking the wheat and grinding the wheat. You know, you buy the masa flour. It's basically masa flour and water until you get this play doughy texture. And it, it's very easy to work with. It's not like flour dough where flour dough has gluten and it can actually stretch. So masa flour does not have any gluten. So it just it literally will take any shape you press into it instantly. Portion it into whatever size you want the tortilla to be and you put it in a, a tortilla press and it's pretty much that simple. The point I was trying to make was, um, yeah, I, I don't see why you would need to grind up corn in the food processor and put it into masa flour. Just go straight masa and water. That's all you need. I'll let it rest. Don't touch it. Let it rest, yeah. Uh, you don't really need to let masa flour or masa flour dough to rest because there's no gluten. Once you mix it up, it's ready to go. You can go right there. There's no gluten. So what yeah. are you resting? See. Like, so it just relax a little bit so it has a, some, some me time. Yeah, don't need to let it rest. This tortilla, not the queen. <laughs> oh, oh, Yikes. oh man. It took me a second. This British pick off. Need to use the British joke. Uncle Roger, you're brutal, man. To be rested. Marinade yes. the steak. Mm, steak, okay. Steaks. Okay. Would you eat that like that? Never. I'm not really a, a raw what kind of, body. What kind of like question is that? Steak? Would you eat that like Can't that? Really it's, a, it's a raw piece of meat. Yeah, seriously. Do you go to the grocery store and just point at a package of meat? Would you eat it like that? <laughs> <laughs> they have to fill time, this hour long show. Oh yeah, that's right. right you know? I do like his shirt. You like his shirt? Do you know who this He's guy wild. is? No, but oh. the guy next to him is pretty attractive. Strong jawline? Don't fall in love with that guy. Okay. Right. Look at the food. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> That's my fiance. Oh, they are fiance. Mm -hmm. Does she know you look at guy online? <laughs> when you meet Kate Grinder? <laughs> are you on Grinder? She questions sometimes, you know? So the ingredients tell you what spices and herbs to use, but they don't say how much. Ground cumin, smoked paprika, okay. dried nice. oregano. Like a man, cumin, paprika, oregano. Uncle Roger think that too many different spices. It's supposed to be simple. I mean, I, I guess for seasoning the meat, a lot of the time it's like salt, pepper, and like a few spices and lime juice, and you could call it a day. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm totally down with the cumin. I absolutely love cumin, and I think it goes great in Mexican food. A little bit goes a long way. Paprika, yeah, for some color, oregano, eh, okay. Not necessarily, I agree with Josh. I think I would have stuck with salt, pepper, and cumin right there. And maybe a little chipotle powder and something like that, maybe some ancho powder, ancho chili powder, but not necessarily, yeah. like less is more in this case. To a bowl with gay abandon, 
Ancho chili pepper. What? Gay abandon? Gay abandon. Oh, dangerous. That's a British thing. Yeah. If you say that in America, people will be really confused. I understand the words. It's just like, for some reason, when you say it in, an, in like an American accent, hey guys, I'm gonna go down to the street and do something with gay abandon. Goodbye. <laughs> no, just... Yeah, we're gonna go, who is Brandon? Who Brandon? <laughs> and why is he gay? <laughs> Uncle Josh, I would like to have work with you, Brandon. That was a you good one. You can be a side piece. So ancho chili powder is dangerous. Ancho chili powder, okay. okay. Nice. So my uh, chili is not too hot. I'm gonna stand in the side. What, what, hear me out. This lady just constantly looks really uncomfortable. Could be because she's just nervous being on television. I, I, certain, I, I don't know if this is like the same contestants week over week. This is my first time watching this show, but she looks just always irritated from the beginning of this episode. Either she's nervous being on TV or she's constipated. You can't really taste this. Why not? Yeah. Because burning me knife. Well, it's meant to be hot anyway. It's meant to be Mexican, isn't it? That does not sound good. That sounds so derogatory. Oh. She's like, it's hot, might as well be Mexican, isn't it? <laughs> who's the, who's the, uh, the, the, the freaking terrible pho that I recently reacted to? Not Rachel Ray, the British, the British pho lady just, mm. Yeah, it, it's close enough. I, I hate that mentality. It's like the most English thing I could ever hear. Uncle Joshua, you need to do one video where you speak English like this. I'll do it for as long as I can until I'm tired of it. So she has to go to the bathroom. Oh, no, <laughs> I thought she was going to trail off and use the bathroom. What's Pico de Gallo? She got COVID. <laughs> wow. Pico de Gallo. Oh my God. Oh, oh, God. God. This is the first time I've heard them. I think pico means small, maybe? It's like a salsa, just reading the ingredients. It's not really like salsa, it's more like relish. So salsa you put on the side, but pico de gallo you can put in the taco. Pico de gallo? Uh, pico de gallo? What, what, what is it in it? It's fucking, uh, what is this fucking pico de gallo shit? <laughs> now try to do Mexican accent. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here's the thing, English people are usually white. Your last name mean white man also. George Fuck, white you already man. knew that? Yeah. Your favorite. <laughs> As he always tell me, if it not white, it not right. Correct? I never you said that. that. I've never said that. I've never, what? I've never said that. You've been saying that to me the whole time? <laughs> Dude, this is so good. Are there other videos with Josh and uh, Uncle Roger just bantering like this? I mean, I did the uh, Pad Thai video. I reacted to that and they did have great banter, but I absolutely love this. Like. These two guys play off of each other so well. My brand is on the line here. <laughs> and you know what? To show some appreciation, make sure you check out the original video. Hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And if you don't mind, do the same for me. Leave a comment. Let me know, what do you guys think of this duo over here? I mean, I really want to see more of just these two bantering and reacting to videos. I think it's gorgeous. I love coriander and cilantro. I know people hate it. Apparently there's a love gene it. that Can't makes get enough coriander. coriander like soap. It tastes Cilantro. like soap. Everybody's got their- There it is. I'm doing this to my- There's the soap guy. Nobody likes that guy. Yes. Nobody likes the soap guy. Spicy, soapy, salty, and sour. Great. The refried beans. The instructions said, make the refried beans. <laughs> that the fakest smile ever. I don't understand what- I don't understand that emotion. That the smile you give when your boss trying to make joke and you hate your boss but you still have to smile. <laughs> oh, that's what Ulysses does every day to me. <laughs> Camera, pen to him. That is Joshua Weissman worker. <laughs> it's not that cook simmer and it's we get soft. Should put that soup. Oh my god, he's oh got my... soup. He's got soup going on. That yeah. not refried beans. He didn't even cook the onion. Those beans? onions that, that does not look like refried beans. Well, let's keep watching. Dead ass them. raw. Yeah. The only reason that there's even the slightest amount of translucence in this is because they're sitting in the hot broth. I guarantee you when you bite into that, it's a raw ass onion. Yeah, it's cooking a bit. I have honestly never... <laughs> Again, raw ass onion. What? I, okay, I forget that these are home cooks though. I'm, I'm trying to be light. It's just, they're, it's just bad. Refried bean. This just bean? It not even fried once? It's bean with like poorly chopped onions, but you know. I'm gonna start making my guacamole now. Step six. Guacamole. Uh, how many avocados? Oh my Holy goodness. Shit. No fucking way. She is peeling it like that. Absolutely not. Honestly, Uncle Roger, in my entire life, I've never seen this. And making I've all the Mexican ancestors cry. They're peeling avocado like they're peeling yes, ginger. There are many Mexican ancestors just fucking re-dying <laughs> right now. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
chopped tomatoes are going in, red onions, jalapenos. Oof, terrible red knife onion. skills. Usually in Mexican, we use white onion, correct? But usually. Oh, chopped. Usually. Because yeah. Paul said it's about flavour and texture. I like... Paul said it's about flavour and texture. In what world is that not important? Yeah. If you look at Jamie <laughs> Hollywood Kitchen. Emotional <laughs> all, all food should have flavour and texture to it. Unless it's baby food. Oh. Avocado till it's smooth. Oh, at least she know how to use avocado. Yeah, this this one does. She's she's used one before. She a millennial. <laughs> they all love the avocado toast. Use an avocado and knows how to how to process an avocado. I guess is is the better word. Smooth <laughs> and creamy. You're looking for smooth and chunky. That's the best way. Smooth and chunky. Why do you say it like that? Yeah. <laughs> You're looking for smooth and chunky. That's the best way. <laughs> Smooth and chunky. I like this show. Story. I definitely got to check out more. Uncle Josh are getting turned on. Why did he say it like that? He didn't have to say it like that. He was, he, he, he's a smooth and chunky. Is it smooth or is it chunky? It's one or the other. You always start with opening the cabinet, correct? Yeah. I thought you would come out the closet by now. <laughs> Finish. Finish. That's what refried beans looks like. What? Yeah, if you had no idea what refried yeah, beans look like. Yeah, really. I mean, listen, guys, nine out of ten times, even the Mexican dudes just brought a can of refried beans, maybe jazzed it up a little when they warmed it up. That does not look like refried beans. Uh, luckily, they put a side-by-side -side comparison, but refried beans, it's a little chunky. It's The beans are mashed up a bit. You know, it looks like what they're making has all the components to get that product there, but I think they just don't know what it's what it is or what it's supposed to look like, so they don't realize like it needs to be cooked a lot more, needs to be softer, and it needs to be pretty much you know matched up. If you're blind, then yes, this is what refried bean look like. Bakers, you have half an hour left. Make the tortillas, divide the rest of dough into eight equal balls. Flatten using the lid. Just gonna go. That's one way Why to do it. Why don't they give them tortilla press? I'm a little concerned about putting all your body weight on that thing. It's probably oven safe, so it's stronger, but I'd be a little wary about that. Press is like Mexican version mm -hmm. of rice cooker. Everybody have one? I have three. They give them all the fancy shit, the kitchen aid, the fancy fridge, everything, but can't point, give them tortilla press. At this point, I, I don't think there's a single importer in all of UK that imports tortilla press. Yes. <laughs> if you're Mexican, <laughs> fair, don't move to UK. Point. This is what they do into your food. Yeah. They are small, but I guess tacos are supposed to be small. Ah, bite size, I think is the correct term. You always want to put uh, some plastic in between. So it's tortilla press bottom, uh, plastic or wax paper actually is even better. Masa ball and then another piece of plastic wrap or wax paper and then you push it and uh, after you do that you can just peel off the wax paper and it's it's a lot easier but if you don't do that it's gonna stick to the actual press or in her case that glass uh, pie tray. Bite size? That's not what? How big is your mouth? <laughs> that is not it was this big around she goes oh bite size perfect. What, is she gonna unhinge her jaw like an anaconda and just she can fit a lot of big thing in her mouth. Don't <laughs> underestimate that woman. She's doing every man a service. Sorry, children. Tortillas, traditionally, I think are meant to be cooked on a hot stone. You just kind of go... Some that that was good. Yeah. That's how they're supposed to be. You're supposed yep. to like slap them in there. In no, two minutes not necessarily, but... I think two minutes on each side, that too long, it's going to dry out the tortilla. Oh, it should be, it should be like... It should be yeah. seconds. Like 30 second total. Yeah. I don't know how they're meant to look exactly, Spot but do you want some brown on there? You don't want your tortilla to be too dry? Not bad. That's already this too much right there. Out <laughs> oh my god, come on. Does he, he, surely he doesn't think that that's right. I hope not. No. That tortilla looked like the dried hands of a 75 year old man. <laughs> that tortilla looked like Uncle Roger hut after my ex wife leave. <laughs> That's all my tacos done. Just need to make steak the tortillas now. Tortillas to fry the steak. Medium rare. Sorry. First off, okay, so zero oil in the pan. Yeah. Illegal. To <laughs> jail. Locked up. No parole. I don't know how to cook steak. I would what? put it like about five minutes each side. Everyone's got an opinion on steak and everyone thinks you've done it wrong. Oof, the telltale sign of of a, of a rookie when you're cooking a piece of protein, you take it off, you cut into it, is it done enough? Oh, no, not yet, and then you put it back on. Rough. No, not, not, that's not true. Yes, everyone has an opinion on steak, but I think everyone's opinion on what's happening here should just be that this is wrong. <laughs> Uncle Tasha, okay, they bake, they're not supposed to know that's too true. much you're about right. steak. 
Go easy on fair. Third. Fair, fair, fair. Oh, Mike, so your steak's cooked perfectly. Uh, it's not looks perfect. Looks good. My steak's gonna be. It's not perfect, but what it's not. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's stir frying the steak. <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's seriously. like stir frying without any of the frying or stirring. Just gonna start assembling. We'll just a wee fork full of each. Holy guacamole. Where to put the glocky molo? No fucking way she just said that. Where to put the glocky molo? Glocky molo. Glocky molo. Yeah, where the fuck do I put the fucking glocky molo in it? I got glocky molo in it. Makers, you have one minute left. Oh, guys. It's gonna be so dark. Oh, now I'm in panic mode. Cheesy stuff. Throw it. Fed Fed Is that fed tuck? No way. Would they put that there as the ingredient set to to uh, fuck with them? I mean, it could be cotilla cheese. Cotilla cheese is very common. It's typically a lot drier, though, than what I can tell over there. It's, um, cotilla is also crumbly, but it's even more crumbly and dr it's drier than uh, feta. If that is feta, that's uh, pretty fucking bad. <laughs> they, just, they just hit two cultures right in the head. <laughs> Did she say feta? Wait, 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 wait. Cheesy stuff. Throw it. Feta. I, I didn't hear her say feta, so I'm not sure. Uncle Roger never mm. have taco with feta cheese on yeah. the hour. Like what? What no the bueno. hell? Cotilla cheese is also is on the saltier side, but not as salty as feta. But yeah, big no-no. These look quite stuffed. I legitimately think that they Googled an image of a taco and did their very best <laughs> effort to just recreate it based off the visuals and did absolutely no research beyond that photograph. I think I think they saw Cotija and they yeah, went, oh, yeah, something told crumbly. You, Cotija. Only feta. I wish that we'd had like quantities. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> way too much guac, holy fuck. <laughs> She just took a fat dump on that taco. Too much stuff on those tacos. You do want them full and stuffed, but that is, you know, you can't even fold it over at that point. Absolutely no way. It's the best way I can think to use an avocado. <laughs> well, that's um, small. Bakers, your time is up. Bring your tacos down to the table and place them in front of your photograph. It's so weird how they put picture in front. It like they all die now. <laughs> it's like their memorial. This is what's left of them. I, I, I have a lot of emotions, Uncle Roger. I feel sad. <laughs> I feel scared. I feel angry. <sighs> As Great, you should. As he off. should. You have so much budget. You're such popular show. Why don't you do a little bit of research next time? And remember, don't dry out your tortillas. Don't yeah. peel your avocado. Yeah. Niece and nephew, go subscribe to Uncle Joshua. He's so good at cooking. He got yes. Uncle Taito. Let's go get some taco now, some real shit. Yeah. I had a blast with this. This was a great episode. Uh, I love how Josh and um, Uncle Roger play off of each other. As for what the contestants put together, you know, like, didn't look terrible. I, you know, I had my comments here and there, you know, for the most part, most of them wasn't great. <laughs> That's definitely for sure. And if that was feta cheese, huge no-no. But some of the plates, especially when they actually plated, looked really nice. I have to give them that much. As far as flavors and stuff, you can definitely tell this is not their wheel wheelhouse. They're not familiar with it. You know, they're not like someone like myself or someone in the States or someone from California who grew up eating authentic tacos. They have a lot working against them. With that said, I know you guys have mentioned several times this show, Japan Week. Are there any other episodes I should check? out. If there are, please let me know in the comments below. Don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger. And with that said, I'm Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon.